Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me that is themed around a festival concert. So I am actually going to see Elenium at Red Rocks tonight and if you don't know, he is an EDM, like a dance artist. Chris and I go to a lot of these kinds of concerts but I haven't done a like dedicated dance festival type of makeup look on my channel I think since last year so I'm excited to do it. I'm gonna be using, can you guess? the So Jaded palette. I just think that there's so many fun colors in here that I have yet to use and I definitely want to use more of them in this look today. If you like these types of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mount Standard Time. All right, so I have a bunch of different makeup in my little makeup bin right here. I am unsure which products I want to use. I don't know what kind of look I want to do yet. Um, I have an injured arm. That is mainly because I got a flu shot in it this morning. So I'm trying not to move this arm because it is quite painful. <laughs> but I'm gonna first go in with the Makeup Obsession All A Blur Blurring Primer. I haven't used this since that first makeup video that I did using it. Mainly gonna put this in the center of my face and kind of use the excess and take it on the outside on my face near my hair. I can't tell you how blurring this product is. I think it does blur a little bit. It's definitely not poor filling, but it does blur the skin decently. All right, next I'm gonna go in with foundation. I think I'm gonna mix two of them today. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation mixed with the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation because this one is too dark for me, but this is a little bit too light. So I think I'm just gonna mix the two and I like this one a ton. It is so natural, so skin-like on your skin. It doesn't make me more oily than I already am. And this one mattifies, so I'm hoping that together the combination would be really good. If you guys saw my favorites video, is it September favorites? I talked about really enjoying mixing foundation, so that's just what I've been doing as of lately. I'm running out of this Fresh Wear foundation though. So I have the Fresh Wear on here. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this Catrice foundation. I was just at Ulta the other day. I should have gotten a different color, but I didn't didn't think about it. I feel like I always use way too much foundation when I do mix them. Cause like, look at that. I don't need that much foundation for my skin. I just never know the right amount to get it to the color that I'm wanting. And I do plan to darken this up with some bronzer. So if you guys don't know who Elenium is, he is a dance artist, like a DJ type guy. And he's doing three nights here at Red Rocks in Colorado. This is the third night that he's here. The first night he was here, his show actually got canceled because it was snowing and Red Rocks is an outside venue, so it'd be freezing. Like, oh my gosh, that would suck if it started snowing at a Red Rocks concert. Usually Red Rocks concerts die down around this time just because it is too cold, too cold. We actually didn't even plan to go to this. So we have seen Elenium like two or three times in the past. Once at Red Rocks, once at another venue here, and I think one other time. We were not planning on going because we have seen him a few times. One of our friends had a connection to someone he worked with and someone that someone that he worked with, his coworker had bought the tickets and then ended up going out of town so he couldn't use them. So he's like, hey, like to Chris, he's, he asked his, he asked our friend and then Chris got asked if he wanted to go to the concert last night. So he went last night and then it turns out that the coworker friend person had another night tonight of tickets that he couldn't, you know, he couldn't go to. And so he's like, hey, do you guys want these tickets? Also, for the last night that he's here, the mutual friend that went last night doesn't want to go or works or something, so he couldn't go. And so it's gonna be Chris and me. <laughs> and we're going for free, which is awesome because I think they are second row seats. I've never been to a concert at Red Rocks where I've had such good seats, so I'm excited about that. Ooh, this covered really nicely. It's like, a skin matte, it's like a matte, satin matte finish on my skin. And it has pretty good coverage too, with these mixed together. Oh, maybe this is gonna be my, no, my new go-to combination because it looks really nice on my skin. I'm gonna take the Catrice 
liquid camouflage concealer been loving this it's so so good like and it's just so cheap I actually repurchased another one the other day that's why I went to Ulta and I can use a little bit more of this because it's more of a liquidy formula than something like the Tarte Shape Tape but it does have decent coverage and I like that it doesn't it never looks heavy underneath my eyes and it doesn't really crease that I notice all right, and I'm going to set everything down with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. Haven't used this on camera in a little while because I, <laughs> I don't want to buy more because it's so expensive, but I have to. I'm, I'm gonna. It's gonna happen. So when I went to film today, I wasn't even thinking about doing a look like this because this morning, didn't know I was going to a concert, but now I'm going. I feel like I should have some kind of lip oil or like lip treatment type thing down here in where I'm filming because my lips definitely get really dry around this time of the year so maybe I might go grab that just so I can let it like sink in before I add my lipstick at the very end of the video so I'll be right back all right I'm back I grabbed some aquaphor I love the aquaphor that comes in these tiny little mini tubes like I never go through one of these and this is the aquaphor advanced therapy it's not the lip one it's not the lip treatment so I feel like that doesn't work the same it's just the regular aquaphor but it's in a tiny tube I also feel like this is like the only lip product that I can use that doesn't dry out my lips more I feel like whenever I use lip balms or anything from the drugstore from anywhere they always dry out my lips and make me need to use more lip balm but this actually helps like I can put it on my lips at night and wake up and my lips feel plump and hydrated and it's great so now that I have that on I feel a little more comfortable I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the shade medium and deep the cool thing about concert makeup is you're in a really low lit type environment you don't really see people unless they have loud makeup you know you can get away with wearing louder and more intense makeup in a concert because of the low lighting and it's at nighttime. I really, really love this bronzer shade. I feel like it just like bronzes my skin really nicely. Chris and I have also tried to not buy as many concert tickets as we used to. When we first started dating, we went to like, oh gosh, like many, many, many concerts. So I really, um, enjoyed. I don't know why I grabbed this. I don't want this yet. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Shadow Base. After this, I'll do eyebrows. But because we now have the house and we're kind of like settling into what a budget looks like and paying off some different loans and stuff, we are not buying nearly as many concert tickets. So it's kind of exciting when we get to go to them now instead of like, oh, another concert. No, it's like we're excited about it because we don't go to many. However, like now that I'm thinking about it, we probably go to more concerts than the average person, but I still feel like we go rarely. Like we go to one to three a year now instead of going to like eight to 10 a year, you know? All right, now let's do eyebrows. I'm feeling a little like all around the place kind of thing with my makeup. I have literally... 45 minutes to do my makeup today because we leave in an hour. 45 minutes. No, 55 minutes. 55 minutes. I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I've just been loving this. Now, one of the reasons why Chris loves to go to these kinds of concerts, he is an engineer and so he loves making things light up and look really cool. So a few years ago, like when we first started dating, he made... Hey dear. Yeah. How long ago did you make the suspenders? I mean, it was probably... My first rose was probably 2012. So like when you first started dating? 13, yeah. I'm just talking about your suspenders. Yeah, you gonna put it in the video? I could if you want me to. Okay, well yeah, I'll insert a clip of the suspenders here. And I'm setting them down with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I still have not found a drugstore dupe for this. I have the e.l.f. Voluminizing Brow Gel thing but I feel like it makes my eyebrows look a little too dark because there's not a clear one that I know of. I think it's just tinted. So I like the clear setting gels because it just helps not add any more pigment or make my eyebrows look darker than they already are. What color should I use right, in oranges here? Oranges and yellows and reds. Oranges and yellows and reds? I mean, that's his. That's his thing? Aesthetic, I think. 
oranges and yellows and reds. Okay, I could do that. Now that I have bronzer on, I'm gonna go in with some blush. I've been really loving this Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Songbird. Just love it for the fall time. All right, I'm gonna take the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. This is a very glowy highlight. And like I said, when you're in a concert environment, you can get away with something a little bit more glowy and like loud. And I will tell you, my makeup will not be the most intense thing we'll see tonight. <laughs> in terms of like, people go like hard on their festival makeup, like jewels and it's a whole thing. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not that person. However, I can do a cool eye look. <laughs> All right, now that the highlight is on, looks very nice, very glowy. Chris said I should do, so Elenium's thing is like reds and yellows and oranges. I might use this ruby shade. I might top it with topaz. I might use carnelian, I'm feeling I really, really want to use this glitter. Although, last time I used one of these glitters from the palette, one glitter did end up on my contact, so I'm not sure how that happened. I was like in the middle of a conversation with a friend and she's like, you have something on your eye. <laughs> and it was makeup from the previous day. <laughs> it was when I used the opal shade right here. I would just caution you, be careful with the glitters. I think if you use them, like that's your own personal thing, but just be aware that like they can end up in or around your eyeball. I'm going to start with the shade Your Gem right here. It's a peachy shade. And oh, I got it all over my finger. I wanna go all out with this look, you guys. I want it to be cool. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush throwing that in the crease. My arm hurts so bad from this flu shot. Every year my mom forces me to get one and like I should, I mean, I work in a school and uh, before that I worked in a hospital. So I really need to get them every year, but they just hurt so bad. And it's definitely pulsing down my arm right now. I'm gonna take the shade Carnelian right here. It's the really pretty orange. Use this a lot in the palettes. I'm gonna take it on a dense brush and just start putting this in the outer V area. Gosh, I feel like I always wanna do something really cool with this palette and I always end up using the same colors. Pulling out Millennium, cause I kinda wanna do it like in theme with his album covers. That's like an example of what it looks like. So maybe I can just do that. But I also wanna use some different colors. Like I wanna use that topaz shade. Maybe I'll end up using a green. I don't know, I don't want it to look too Christmassy. So we in Colorado have lots of breweries and this is a really, really good sour beer. It's called Crush. It's a raspberry sour. These are like my favorite. This is not sponsored, by the way. Nothing on my channel is sponsored ever, but uh, my husband just brought me this. It is a sour beer. So if you're not a fan of sours, you wouldn't like it. And if you're not a fan of beer, you, you wouldn't like it. However, I like both. You guys, I just don't know what I want to do. I wanna use something different. Like I want to use something different than just the warm shades. Listen to me, I loved doing all of my fall looks on my channel and now I'm like, something different. I'm trying to figure out what cool color I could fade into this ruby shade. <gasps> I just got a good idea. Okay, maybe I'm gonna take the shade of fluorite right here. It's a like light lavender purple. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, put ruby on the outside and like the rest of my lid. And then I'm gonna take the shade ametrine Yep, and then I'm gonna take the purples and smudge that underneath my lower lash line. <gasps> yes, that is innovation, people. <laughs> I'm gonna take that shade Ametrine. It's a matte purple with a bunch of uh, gold glitters in it. And I'm just, don't know. I don't really know. Is this gonna ruin the look? Probably, okay. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. Not really sure where I'm going with this. However, we're here and this is just what's happening. Sure, this is cool. I feel like the purple is the best bet to tie in to the red. Like in terms of colors that would go well together. And I realize that I'm covering up that color that I just put down, but it's fine, I'm okay with it. I'm just building this color up, trying to take it a little bit in the crease so that we see it when it gets covered. And I'm gonna take that original fluffy brush with nothing else on it. Just kind of blend the edges. That alone looks cool. 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a flat brush and take this shade Amitrine one more time just to make sure that it's like really packed in the inner part of my eye. I have a glitter up here. I don't know how that happened. And then I gotta blend it out. We have something here. I'm gonna take the shade Fluorite right here, put it on my finger and just build that up in the inner part of my eye. Just kind of like on top of that Amitrine shade. Oh, that like kind of makes it pop. Ooh, that's a really cool like multi-dimensional thing that it's doing because the shade Fluorite is, it's not as pigmented as some of the other ones. It's a little bit more of like a topper shade. So with the shade Amitrine underneath it, it's giving it a really cool look. So that's about as far in as I'm taking the purple, the shade Fluorite. I just want the inner part of my eye be there. And then I'm gonna take the shade Ruby. It's this one right here on my finger as well. And let's see if this is a good idea or not. Just kind of blending the two. Very, going very lightly, because this is a very pigmented and bright shade. I've never done such a cool look before. Okay, now I'm gonna take, I am unsure, because <laughs> this part is just, it looks so cool, but it's like, what do I do now? That's my response. Oh, I wanted to use the shade Topaz. Could that be like an inner, like an inner or a, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the shade Topaz just so, so lightly on right on top, because that's cool. Like nothing else, I'm just adding a little bit on top so you can see that glitter. A mood, you guys. Okay, this just looks the coolest. I am so, I, I love this. A hundred, a hundred and million, a hundred percent. That way my eyeballs can like glow a little bit more. I'm just kind of like keeping it in the outer V, lightly adding it on top of that ruby shade. All right, I feel like that's enough. That is real cool. Like I did not think that that would go on top well, but it actually ties in the purple and the red and the orange. I'm gonna take the shade Amethyst right here. It is a shimmer shade, so hopefully it goes on okay. Putting this really closely to my lash light. I'm gonna blend it out using where are you? A pencil brush and I'm gonna take the shade, what am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Carnelian. Try and smudge that out. I don't know if that's gonna look good or if it's gonna look really weird. All right, so I made it look a little bit more grungy. I can definitely see the pops of the purple and the orange underneath my lower lash line, so that's super cool. Might drag the orange down little bit on this side to match the other side. I'm gonna take the shade Pearl right here. It is the metallic like white champagne shade and put this in my inner corner. I'm really eager to see what it looks like with liner and mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara and I'm gonna use a black eyeliner. You can use any black liner that makes you that's just what you want to do. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just added some black liner to my waterline and then used my mascara for my top and bottom lashes. This is what the eye looks like. Really, really, really love it. That glitter just changed the game for me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lipstick. I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gemini. It's a really good and neutral shade, especially for looks that are a little bit more out there, like with your eye look. Typically, if I have a really intense eye look, I like to do more of a neutral lipstick. These go on really, really liquidy and dry down matte very fast. And I'm going to use a little Kleenex and pat my lips on it. All right, guys, this is the final look. I'm really happy with it. I just love my eyeballs. I think that the shades blended together really well. I'm so happy that I used the So Jaded. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely need to. It's so affordable in terms of how many shades you get in here and I just think that every shade that I've used has paid off so well. They blend really well. They're very pigmented. I have no complaints at all with this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I have... Oh my gosh, it's 5.36 and I have 20 minutes left to get ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.